This here is a good old WooWoomers upsell section, but it's not the most effective in the world. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to maximize your sales with a better cross-sell system and order bumps. For example, I have a upsell section like the one you see on the screen right now. I can add as many products as I like, even variable products. I can add discount prices to those and I can add those to the cart. Or if I go to the cart page with a product, there is an order bump like the one you see on the screen here. If I place my order, then th there is another order bump with a pop-up. I can add this to my order. It's added here and done. Awesome stuff. Setting this up takes only a couple of minutes. So if you're interested, then jump in. Now, first things first, we need to install a plugin that is called the Sales Booster. It's by the iconic WP. It's a premium plugin. And pricing for it is $79 per year for one site. For three sites, it's $159. And for 30 sites, it's $489 per year. Currently, they have a campaign and you'll get 30% off from all the products they have. And they have a bunch of pro cool products here. For example, Flux Checkout and Attribute Swatches, Quick View, Delivery, Slots Plugin, and so on. All of those are currently 30% off. But if you watch this video later, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a nice 10% discount coupon for you, which applies also for the sale prices. So altogether, you can get 40% off if you purchase it now. Now, when the money talk is out of the way, let's go to the dashboard. And after installing the plugin, you'll see there is a sales booster menu here. Three options, order bumps, what happens after checkout and settings. Let's open up the settings first. There is a get started menu up here, some documentation for you to familiarize yourself with the plugin. Under the dashboard, you can insert your license key and manage your account. Under the design, there are two sections, frequently bought together section and what happens after the product has been added to the cart. The frequently bought together section is this one here. You can customize whether to link the product titles whether to display the product thumbnail, whether to hide the product if it's already added to the cart. You can activate the Ajax Add to Cart button for the select products. If your catalog has a hidden product, then you can display even those by selecting this option here. You can apply the discounts if products are individually added to the cart. And now you can choose where is the position of this section. Currently, it's after Add to Cart button that is here. But you can choose whatever place you like. For example, after single product, if I save it and refresh it, then it's down below. And for me, it doesn't make any sense. So the best place for me is still after add to cart button. Save changes, refresh, and there you go. Next one is after add to cart modal. What happens then? I'm going to demonstrate it. For example, I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to add this product to the cart. And this is the pop-up that appears now. Header bar, this one here. And title, customers also bought. This is if the product has upsell products added. I'm going to demonstrate it. That is, I'm going to delete the products. Add this one to the cart. And you'll see. Those are the upsell products that I added to this product. Call the lamp is added to the cart. And with a two clicks, add also two additional products to the cart. Now, if you would like to disable this for all products and activate only for those that have upsell products, then deactivate this one here. So let's do that. Save changes and done. Now let's go and create order bumps. I'm going to trash this one I created earlier. Creating one is easy, so let's add one, give it the title for golden lamp. Now I can choose conditions, display it for all products, specific products or specific categories. I'm going to display it only for specific product that is for this golden lamp product. So if this product is added to the cart, only then this order bump is displayed. Now you can display bump when the cart contains any of those products displayed here below or all products or only these products or except those products down below here. So those are the rules you can set up. 
Now I can choose whether to display the order bump, even if the offer product is already in the cart. It doesn't make any sense to me, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Now the offer, I'm going to add this product as I offer. I'm going to give 20% discount. And now under the customize, I can change the text here and here. Highlight colors, for example, this one for price. You'll see the preview here. Whether to show the image, I'm going to leave it as it is. Whether to display the price, shadow, and the position before place order button, after place order button, I'm going to leave it before place order button. But as you see, there are a bunch of options for you to choose. Now let's publish it and let's test it. I'm going to delete everything from the cart. I'm going to add this product to the cart. Go to the checkout. Scroll down, and now you'll see this product is displayed as my order bump. If I select this, it's going to be added to my order, and there is an offer displayed here, and the price is discounted. This here is one way to add order bumps, but there is also another way, and that is if I go to the single product page, open it up, then you'll see there is a sales booster menu here. So, what does it do? If I add products, then those are the upsell products that are displayed here, and I select those for adding to the cart. So just search for products. I'm going to delete the products here. Let's search for something. Imagine this one here, this one, and let's add this one here. Now I can choose whether to check or uncheck them by default. As you see, by default, those are checked. If you would like them to be unchecked, then select this option here, add the discount. And those are the products that are displayed in the pop-up model. As you remember, if you add something to the cart, those are the two products that are displayed here. You can change those here. Easy peasy. So these are the order bumps. And in a similar way, you can create as many order bumps as you like for specific products, all products or specific categories. Now let's go to the after checkout bumps. I'm going to trash the one I created earlier. Let's create a new one. And basically the same happens here. Give it the title, display it for all products, specific products or categories. Let's display specific products once again for golden lamp. The same rules as before. Now let's create the offer. Let's choose this lamp here. Discount percentage 40%. And under the customize, there is an option whether to display the progress bar. I'm going to display yes. I can change the title. I can change the subtitle, product intro, add some benefits. For example, more light, energy savings up to 40%, five years warranty, and so on. I can change the skip test and the button test. In order to keep it short, I'm going to leave everything as it is. But as you saw, changing these are really easy. So let's publish it. I'm on my checkout page. I'm going to refresh it. Now I'm going to place order. And what do you know? There is my offer title, subtitle, product name, price. Those are the benefits, description. Let's add it to my order. There you go. And now nothing else to do. Just place the order. Can't get any easier than that, isn't it? So we would like to increase your average order value and create order bumps in an easy way. Then this sales booster plugin is really a nifty one. This is one way to make your WooCommerce shop better. The other way is to create custom single product pages like the one you see on the screen right now. If you would like to know how to create custom single product pages with the Gothenburg editor, then I have made a Toro tutorial about it. There is a plugin called Cadence ShopKit. Take a look at the screen. There is a tutorial I have made about it. In the meantime, take care.